Hi, everybody. Welcome to My the Asshole Podcast. This is a little teaser to let you know we have a Patreon. Please support our Patreon. Subscribe. We're going to give you a little taste of Guess the Verdict. Sarah, are you ready for this? Yes. AITA for wanting to switch roommates because mine is a Syrian refugee. Oh, my God. Ugh. YTA? YTA is wrong. <laughs> and so here's a story. <laughs> this poor person who is the, roo- the roommate to the Syrian refugee, they were roofied within two weeks of the first college they went to. Oh, traumatic. But, yes. And then they were psychologically abused by a, a, another friend. And so they went to a new school. Oh, isn't that great? Oh. And they got a new roomie. And the new roomie is a strict Islamic follower from Syria. Okay. Nothing wrong with it, but a little bit intense, folks. She's very strict about a lot of things, imposing her beliefs on OP. She said that they have to knock first before entering the shared room no. because she doesn't want anyone to see her hair out. Okay, uh, uh, okay, keep going. That's that's bothering you, but not that much. So I'm far. like, it's bothering me. Not allowed to come home from drinking because it's against her religion and it was illegal in her home country. No. Then poor OP, and you can understand this, every time she says something, everyone sides with the refugee. They're like, well, she's a freaking refugee. I mean, yes. She's been <laughs> through a lot. Uh, Ugh, that sucks. Would you say NTA or NAH? I would say NAH. I think it's a tough situation. Mm-hmm. And look, if these are her, th- put her with another Islamic person who at least will get or half of it. Put you someone know? in a single. Like if you're going to be that rigid towards a stranger's habits, you can't really. Absolutely. Okay. Can we just sidebar for a second? Because as much as I love these clickbaity titles, because they are the reason we have this game, I fucking hate them. I'm like, that is not, the issue is not that your roommate is a Syrian refugee. You're bearing the lead right, the issue right. is that your roommate is imposing her religion on you and you don't even know her right. yeah she's not like oh my roommate oh my roommate underwent vast hardship and yeah. is not in her home country right. she's I'm not out. like oh she gets homesick sometimes or something yeah, she's like yeah. oh no she is kind of asking these unreasonable demands and that's the issue she keeps crying because her whole family is murdered <laughs> verdict went to the real k b68 nta if she wanted to escape to here to get away from another place she has to accept that our culture is much different than hers i could understand the whole knocking thing from a general principle standpoint but she doesn't have any more of a right to that room than you do yeah i agree okay would i be the asshole if i buy my girlfriend a cheap engagement ring uh, I'm I'm going to say no assholes here. You were sort of correct. The one person with a top comment said NTA, but I think that they should have. Here's why there is an asshole in this situation. So the guy is proposing to his girlfriend. The girlfriend never really wears rings and she's not a huge fan of diamonds. He found her a ring that had some emeralds and also somehow some diamonds, but the ring only costs 300 pounds. It's on sale now. It's down to 180. Good steal. He was talking to his sister about it. The sister thinks this guy's an asshole since the girlfriend's friends are going to like look at the ring and be like, ooh, how many carrots is it? Blah, blah, blah. And like figure out that it's cheap. So the sister is being the asshole. Top comment from loser girl 10,000. Oh my God, that's me. Not the asshole. You picked out something that you thought she'd like and it just happened to be cheap. And then she goes on this whole thing. Like my fiance proposed to me with a paperclip ring. We were poor, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Too far with the verdict. Paperclip ring. Good Lord. I know. Okay. Taylor Swift. Good God. I never thought a ring pop would seem nice. I mean, eventually. Paperclip ring. What does that even mean, Sarah? What is that? Like a paperclip in a circle? It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't even really bend well in a circle. Oh. I've tried it before. Eventually, the this woman's fiance did replace it with an actual ring, but I think it was just a symbolic gesture. AITA, because my boyfriend's, 21, grandma, 85, ate some of my cannabis edibles. Oh, God. <gasps> Probably YTA. And <laughs> it was found fake. Fake. You didn't even know. Fake is an option. Yes. Wait. No. You can't yeah. just make up stuff. No, I'm not making it up. It was flagged fake on the subreddit. It's all true. Okay. But what was the verdict before it got flagged as You know fake? what? I didn't even check it, but I'm going to tell you why it was fake. <laughs> Rude. So the story isn't very interesting. Basically, the grandma supposedly ate three gummies, which I think kind of proves that it's fake because it's like three yeah, gummies. Yeah, no. 
if you have a bowl, first of all, you'd have to spend a lot of money to get like a bowl of weed gummy bears. Yeah. And also no one's going to stop at just three. Right. If it was like a tray of brownies, I would get it. Three gummies and you're going to the emergency room. That was the story. So I was oh, like, boy. okay, so why, why do people think this is fake? And it's because they, someone reported it as fake. And I went into this user's history. Oh to my see God. Their Deep dive. First of all, there's a subreddit called find a Reddit where you can post hmm. like what you want, what Reddit you want. You know, so like what, Sarah, so to maximize karma. No, no, no. Like you're looking for a specific subreddit and you can't find it. So you would post like, what's a subreddit where I can finally find a guy that's decent. And they'd be like, oh, <laughs> do our atheism. <laughs> that would be a terrible suggestion. This person posted a sub for people who are toxic and negative for us to be toxic together. And then they also posted, would I be the asshole for robbing my boyfriend for supporting Cardi B's robbery? Oh, God. I, f- I fucking hate this person. That's obviously fake. AITA for not telling my dinner guests that I cooked our meal with my feet. <laughs> what? Fake. I don't think... <laughs> It could be fake, but that wasn't the verdict. Okay, all right. Oh, cooking with my feet. I guess I would say no assholes here. Okay, the top comment was NTA. Here's why. And I was so fucking mad when I read this. OP had meningitis as a kid and had both arms removed. So I'm like, okay, oh, of course. Boy. Not the asshole. Gotcha. Bring in the dancing lobsters. <laughs> Yeah, but the friends were like fucking pissed when they found out OP made it because um, OP has a caregiver and usually the caregiver will make the food. But then OP has recently gotten into like cooking. Yeah. But fuck those people. So they did actually use their feet. Well, they, they use it to like use anything with utensils. They weren't like mixing stuff with their feet. That's fine. I know. That's actually impressive. I would be I like, know. wow, this tastes like extra care. I know. You could open up a restaurant and that could be your whole thing. I feel like if you look at your feet too much and think about your feet, then they become gross. But they're really yeah. just like hands, you know. I they're know. They're a lot like hands. They're just not as grabbable at things. Yeah. Well, guys, that is a quick round of Guess the Verdict. We're trying not to give you too much free podcast, people, because <laughs> we want you to get on the Patreon. Uh, we're super excited about it. Uh, the stories that you're missing, we're going to do AITA for insulting a girl's weight after she went off on me for touching her purse on a crowded train. Drama. That's fun. And after that, we're going to do AITA for leaving my toddler with my child-free sister for a few minutes, resulting in a trip to the emergency room. But you're not going to get that because you're listening to the teaser. Find all our links at AITA pod.com including our patreon we'd really appreciate if you got on there and threw us a couple bucks we put a lot of time and energy into the show and sarah has an iphone 7 so please support us thank you and have a great day